Hey guys, welcome to another Sonically Sound video. Today we're going to be going over DSing. You might not know what DSing is, or you probably do if you've selected this video, but quickly I'll explain. It's basically the sibilance in a vocal. Sibilance is the S's, CH and SH sounds. You can hear them cut through when someone's speaking. These aren't too intrusive to a track, but certain vocals might be more intrusive than others, and you might want to minimise it. Um, so what I've done here is, this is the vocal here, but you can see I've done a lot of work here on it, um, but I want to start fresh um, so you guys can see. Um, if we have a listen to the track, I'm going to solo it, and then we can hear what the vocal sounds like. How did your love ever reach me? How did your grace ever see me? I was so far away. So when she says reach and so, you can really hear the s and ch come through. Um, it's not too bad, but we're going to work on it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this, um, go into dynamics, and you see that there is a deesser tab. I personally don't use the deesser. I can't. I don't really like the uh, interface. Um, and I just. I just can't. I can't get it to work the way I want it to. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it on the compressor. So same way, dynamics, and it's just compressor instead. Um, so let me open that up. So that opens up with the bog standard Logic 10 compressor. Um, it, it's on Platinum Digital. You can use the other ones. Platinum Digital works fine. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to compress the vocal but only the um, frequency where the sibilance is happening because um, then we're not cutting out the whole frequency of the sibilance because there's actually quite a lot of quality and good sound in that um, frequency that we don't want to get rid of so what we're going to do is go, go sidechain basically what this does is we send um, that vocal into the sidechain um, and you can see now all the uh, open up so you've got frequency so that's going to affect the frequency of the uh, of the sibilance so that's what we'll use to find it you've got Q that's um, the, the size of the uh, bell curve um, we'll have it we'll keep it at one for now so we can locate the frequency and we'll get tighter to talk when we want to um, do some fine tuning on that and really get rid of the main frequency see all these. Um, so you've got LP, HP, um, and H, um, and BP. BP is the one we're going to use as a band part. So those are the, um, the normal EQ curves you get on a parametric EQ. So we're going to open that one. So um, you also notice that there's this filter option um, at the moment, which basically is the side change which isn't active whatsoever. Um, then there's one which will activate these uh, compress the vocal on the S's and then listen. This is what we want right now. Basically it's going to allow us to only listen to the frequency that's being selected. This means that we can find the frequency we want before we uh, start doing it. It's quite hard to do it the other way around when compressing a vocal is trying to hear it disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to listen and we're going to find the vocal. So you can see there, when she starts saying so, the, the V you need to hear jumped up a bit. I think I found the right frequency here at about 10.5k uh, hertz, um, which is great from that. Um, then what I probably want to do is make this really tight, put it up to max 5, and then I'll listen to it again and see if I've missed the frequency slightly and I can do some fine tuning to it. So 
So now that I've kind of it, it's missing the ch, but it's grabbing the c and so. So I'm going to leave it at five because I'm fine tuning it. And now what we do is turn up the auto again as usual, and then we start to use the compressor like a compressor working on that frequency. So we keep it on listen, and we start to work the threshold and the ratio. So it's how hard to push it. Um, I like to have it on graphs so I can kind of see a bit more what's going on. But you don't have to if you don't want to meet to work just as Um, now that I've set the threshold differently, the pitch is just kind of coming through but only compressed a tiny bit, and that's probably fine. Uh, you also noticed maybe that I was messing around with the ratio a bit. I had it on two, uh, which I thought wasn't really enough to compress, but when I put it on three to one, um, it's getting it maybe a bit too much. So I put it nice in the middle. You can see it uh, on the graph was working up and compressing it nicely. Um, so now what we can do is we can do it on. Um, and then we'll be able to hear the whole thing. Um, and you might not notice if it sounds different, um, but we'll be able to listen anyway. So it's catching it now and um, pushing it down a bit. It's sounding a lot better. Um, I mean, it's not, I haven't EQ'd any of it, so that's maybe why it's sounding um, a bit off in my ears. Um, I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, that's um, how a compressor works, side chaining it for a de -esser. Um It's really straightforward, as I'm sure you guys saw. Um, you've got to find the frequency, so really it's all about using your ears and really, really listening in. Um, so train your ears up for that. And as long as you understand compression, uh, it should be fine. Yeah, so that's how you DS the vocal. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you think I missed anything, or you want to know how to do more hit the comment below and get to it. If you want to know how to use compression,